Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will learn on how to use Teams on the Teams mobile app. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm in the Teams tab and I can see a list of all my teams that I'm a part of. Now there may be certain teams that I may be an owner of. So I can go ahead and click on the three dots and I can manage the team from here. I can manage members, I can manage channels, I can edit the team or I can leave the team. But how do you go ahead and create a team from the mobile app? So click on the three dots on the top here and you can select create a new team. I can give this team a name, give it an optional description and I can call it a private or a public team. Now remember, private teams are managed by owners and members and a public team is open to everyone to join. So I'm going to say private team and I'm going to say create. Now, as we remember, whenever you create the team, it will ask you to add members to the team. And that's where you can invite anybody you want. So for example, I'm going to add Hitesh and I'm going to say, yes, there we have it. So this team will get created on the bottom. I can go ahead and add channels to this team. So click on the plus icon on the bottom and you can add a ch channel. So I can add a channel for project description. I can make this a standard channel, which means I want this to be visible by everyone in the team. So there we have it. I can also create another channel and this time I'll say performance and I'm going to create this as a private channel. So notice that when you create a private channel, it will prompt us to add the members that we want as part of this channel. So it shows me all the members of the team. I can select Hitesh and I can say create. So there you have it. You have two channels now as part of this team. The private channel is signified by a lock sign, as you can see. Now here you can go in and start a quick conversation. You can again make use of the content camera to capture something as simple as a business card or a document. So there you have it. And you can send that out in the team. You have the same capabilities that you had in the chat of sending locations, using forms, using news, and all of those things. You can also use GIFs to send out attractive looking GIFs. And you can also share files as you did in the group chat. You can set notifications for this channel. You can say that I want to allow all new messages that come to this particular channel. So that's about it. Hope this helps.